Hello, this is Storyer, and welcome back to our multiplayer game of Europa Universalis 4 with my co-hosts, Berg. Hi. Beg787, sorry. And Miganto. Hello. Hey, um, should we on pause? Let's do this. Yes. And by the way, it's completely fine to call me uh, Berg. You don't have to say the full name. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> He's the not beginning... the Borg. He's got a specific <laughs> number. <laughs> there was... <laughs> there was 786 before me. That's how many improvements they've made. Could you imagine how rubbish like Berg 214 was compared to like, <laughs> the 787 version? Or well, Berg 1. I wonder how he feels. Who's oh, the original? Ber well, Berg 1, Berg 1 was like... Um, was like... I can't think of what I'm going to say. He was like the missing link was Berg 1. <laughs> Come on, go in there, fight them. Yeah, that's Very a crush this Bermanus army. <laughs> that's it. Well done. Look, they're being super aggressive now. They're hunting down the B Bahamas army. I'm liking it. Bahamas even Army. I didn't tell them to the Bahamas Army. Even though I didn't tell them to be aggressive. In fact, I don't. You don't even need my help. I, where's the capital of Bahamas? I want to siege it. Middle, Bidara. Wow, well done for knowing that. I don't. I'm just looking at this uh, part of the map, and, and there's a crown there. All right. Okay. See you and your knowledge of the game and all this. Yeah. <laughs> I know that the crown Cheating, means the basically. capital. <laughs> think you're all smart, yeah? I'll show you what your knowledge knows. Uh, who? What? Sindh entered a military alliance with our enemy, Bamanus. Sindh, where are you? Because you're going to get smashed. Sindh, you're Snid. Oh, come on, man. Get to 100 Diplo points so I can... That's northwest of you. Just, just past Gujarat. Just past it, what? To the north? Northwest, yeah. All right, okay, they're a bit bigger than I thought they were. All right, I did Maybe I'll leave you alone. somebody, finally. Shame I don't have enough. Why are you sitting... What? Oh, why, why are 15,000 troops just sitting in one of my provinces? <laughs> Friendly what, or enemy? Point? That's it, come over here, you schmucks. Such dum-dums. <laughs> why are Bengal... Are Bengal fighting Nepal as well, like in a separate war? Yeah, they are. You know the uh, friendly uh, uh, rebels I've got? They're currently in the country that I'm allied with in this war. So the two sets of troops keep fighting each other. So my ally and my allied rebels are fighting each other again and again and again. Oh crap, you know what <laughs> I, I just realised? The stop Orgol has been taken. So I need to go and unsiege this. Oh that's it. Eyes. That's it. That's it. AI. Be smart. Go north. Follow me. Well, technically, I'm following them. But we march north together. Together, we've got what thirty thousand troops, and I can only see eleven thousand Bengal troops that are doing any kind of fighting against us. So, if we smash them, should be good. Will you try to separate peace or? I don't, am I the war leader here? I don't think I am the war leader. No, you're not. But, mm, but you can separate peace with... Oh, Bengal. you mean, yeah. It's, it, all right, okay. I, for some reason, I assumed you meant, like, separate peace out Bamanas, like... Um, oh, well done. That's it. Straight engage. I'll go on siege out your province. You straight engage them. Are you going to even win this war? This battle, okay. I should say. Actually, you... Maybe not this... <coughs> oh, crap. They're sending 9,000 troops down from Nepal. Where are they going to go, though? I'm going to sit quietly for a while because I need to core all the stuff I got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not trying to rub it in your face, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, for viewers, on my end, this is what it looks like when your country's successful. It grows and makes your name bigger and bigger. Hikesy. I say hi Haichi? I, I have no idea. I, I, I say Haichi because the, I heard someone say it like this. Well, what if they were wrong? Then I'm wrong as well. <laughs> Damn it! No, look, 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 hold on. Ar Arissa, Arissa, there's no need to not follow them up north and crush them because I'm sieging out the province that we need to siege out to be on our side. You can make them aggressive then. Oh no, Orissa. Oh. Yeah, Arissa seemed to want to just hang out in. Um... In where where the hell are they even hanging out? Gaja. Gaja aren't actually even in this war. 
they're just hanging out there for whatever reason. But I, I'm actually of a mind to go and smash the rest of these Bengal troops. But they don't seem to want to do that. So I'm just going to have to march around killing one stacks. Or maybe not, as the case may be. See, Arissa, we've got the advantage here. Come with me, come over here, and we can smash them. Or you can be a chump and uh, annoy me. going to be a chump, isn't it? I need to get exploration ideas and send my uh, ships there so I can see what you guys are doing. Where are you going, Bengal? Where are you going? At least we're uh, the same military tech. That's it. Just stand there. Stand there in your province and look at this one. Yeah. Look at it. You can't do squat. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I do need to pause quickly because I need to get out of that. I know uh, that I, I need to finally annex Malabar. <laughs> I still haven't done it. It's a boom. And continue. Fine. Good times. Ah. I do want to get a diplomatic reputation advisor, but the only one I have available is level three, so no thanks. Um, oh crap, I've got 13 pretender rebels have come up. Is the pretender better? My Raj, what confidence in our government? Did my ruler just die as well? No, why did I just get a stability drop as well? I didn't actually read that. Maybe I should have read what it, <laughs> what it said. That would have been a good move, wouldn't it? Read? Why would I want to do that? Yeah, warriors do not read books or whatever. Um, how good is your pretender? I'm curious. I don't even know how I would find that out. You go to where the rebels are, and then click handle them on the pretender, and then you'll see his uh, he his stats there. Okay. Why would you consider maybe? Uh... No, I just, if I have a weak ruler and get a 666 pretender, I just accept his demands. Really? Oh, wow. Have they got rebels as well? Bengal have got some rebels have popped up. Are they actually going to go and fight them? Yeah, that'd be quite funny. Go on, hopefully you get a bit of a kick in here and then the rest of my troops can... Well, I say kick in, they're going to beat these rebels, but... But uh, it might not be a bad idea for me to jump in on them now whilst they're... Uh... Are they actually going to beat these rebels? No, they're not. I'm not sure if I said the right thing. I'm oh. not sure you can accept uh, Pretender Rebels anymore. Maybe that was removed. I haven't done that for a while. Just... Oh. oh. I almost made a big mistake there, jumping in there. I swear I'm fighting with these Rebels. These peasants. That's alright, we smited some of their troops. Which is basically the point. Just want to get out of this, uh, unsiege the, the war goal. That is the war goal, right? Preparing our defenses. Excellent, we're starting to get some decent, some decent stuff. Well, I mean, decent. I mean, I don't really care too much about these little, like, you know, getting your defenses up and stuff like that, you know, events, but it's better that than having stuff that <laughs> is costing me, you know. I think they're the ones that say your country's doing all right. Here's something else yeah. you should be doing, by the way. So they're the good ones to get in that sense. Those. Are those pretender rebels yours? Because I can see there are some in Cochin. Is there? Oh, it's a no, different. They're, they're their own rebels. All right. I'm just curious. Right, despite the fact that they've had the war goal siege for quite a while, like we're still plus in score. Hmm. I haven't misread that, right? That is the war goal. Um. And we're the defender here, and Bengal has it. Has it? as it sieged out but we're going to unsiege it yeah that's the war goal yeah how are you doing Megantu? Are you brilliantly actually... brilliantly yeah um, brilliantly <laughs> although the enemy is now taking on my basically my rebels that I didn't raise up are, are doing the best job out of everybody they're crushing every army that comes towards them 
Oh, it's just a quick quick question, sorry, um, Torio. You mentioned having a look at my um, Pretender. He mm -hmm. does have a strong claim, and he's a 3-3-1, three, three, which isn't great. Oh, so 3-3-1 three, three, is not worth it because you lose uh, prestige, stability, or something. But if he was like a 5-5 five, five something, then yeah. Yeah, no, I get you. Can you can we actually accept? Do you have the button to accept the I, I, I well, uh, I don't know if I could actually click accept, but let me just double check. Uh, no, I can only I can handle them though. Hmm. Okay, so it must have been changed, or I remembered it wrong. Because I thought that you used to be able to just click accept and get the new ruler, but they might have changed it because you're theoretically you are supposed to be the king, right? Yeah. Look at look at all my vassals all banded together. <laughs> I think I need to go and deal with these rebels. They've almost sieged out that province. I don't know if I'll get there in time. Come on. Get there. March. And why aren't my stupid... Ugh, it so annoys me that my vassals don't seem to want to listen to my orders. Uh, I guess I'll have to conquer some more people. I'm a little bit worried if I fight these guys. I mean, my general's better, but we're 13 versus 13, and I'm the attacker. Although I don't think there's going to... Oh, there might be a river crossing, I don't know. But I do have a bit of a beastly general, so hopefully that should negate it. I think we got there just in time. Come on, fight them! Get good rolls! I can actually rival Ming, although I don't think it's... <laughs> See how that goes for you. Nah, I've defeated my rebels. Meganto, well, oh, okay, go on. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. Meganto, what exactly is your war, the, the one you're in? Because um, I can see you, I don't know. It's me and Lang Xiang, which are actually quite big, against uh, Dai Viet and Lan Na. But I can't piece out like a white piece because they're, they're winning too much. Mm -hmm. Wait, did be... Lang Xiang hate you? They did. In fact, the only way to get out of it is to annul trees with Pegu, so I'm going to do that because... But it's also war reparations they want. That's going to just put me even more money into even more debt. Hold on, when the hell did Delhi get involved in this war? <laughs> I know, man. See, when I moved all my troops down here, now they're sieging out the war goal again. And Bengal's actually sort of... Well, if only my troops would actually... Look, come here. Attach to me, you schmucks. <laughs> Together we can go and crush all of those armies. Stop sieging out this... <laughs> you do when... have... Mm. Sorry, go on. You do have supportive sets, as you said, right? Yeah, I do, definitely. Oh. But they just don't seem to want to come with me. Do you have the attach to me button on the army selected as well? Won't that mean I attach to, to other people? No, no, no. Um, there's, a, there's a window attached to me and you click it. Then they attach to you, and below that there's the jigsaw puzzle button. That means that you will attach to others. Attach to attach to this unit. No, yes. Wait. So if I you want click to that... click attach to this unit. Yes. Then they should follow you. Okay. <gasps> They've given me nine ducats. Yes. Who? Oh, just people. Apparently, I've apparently good governance has happened. I've been leading the country so well. They've given me nine ducats. Is that enough to end your peasants' war? No. I need one more stability, well, um, and also to siege out two provinces. Unfortunately, my peasant, my um, vassals decided not to uh, to join me, as in like to attach to my army. They seem to be wanting to siege out this Bamana's province for some reason. Dicks. Maybe they do have a claim on it or something like that. Well, all of them. No, one. I mean, uh, I don't, no, but like, never mind. it's literally all of my vassals have like, they're basically, they're not like by themselves. There's like 15,000 troops, and it's all different vassals of mine. They're all like in one big unit. So and either you. Out. Did you. Uh, uh, okay, can I think of something? Uh, did you set the province as a work, as a goal for somebody? somebody? No, I didn't. But, uh, do you think I even know how to do that? <laughs> I, I thought you did say that you can set, uh, that you know how to do that. No, the objective. I, I, did, I didn't do anything like that. Oh, oh uh, one thing you should keep in mind, go, there's a gold mine in Golconda, just by your border. Where's that? 
um, next to the province you sieged. Aha, uh -huh, right, okay, so in Bamanas, eh? Yeah. So what you're saying is maybe I should try and uh, siege it out, piece out Bamanas separately, is that what you're saying? Well, it depends if you want Crap, to what happened to all my manpower? I just realized I've got zero <laughs> manpower. I was wondering why my guys weren't reinforced. I'm glad we gave him a vagina, vagina jar. Oh crap, this temple's of the sun malarkey again. Let's lose two plus three each. How about you... Look, we're at 29 score here. Why don't you bloody get out of this war? Come on, Arissa. What, what do you want? Just... Peace. So what do you need to do to, fin to form? Um, from, from Haichi? What else do you need to actually form the country you're going for? Me? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, for some reason I thought you were talking to Bug. I need to annex my two vassals, Yeren and Jiangzu. Ah, okay. To form Manchu. And for now I'm just expanding whenever and wherever I can. I do have Korea as my ally, but I don't have Ming because I was forced to annul our treaties. Aren't the four of you together probably as powerful as Ming? Almost. Oh, they're really crappy. Oh, they're quite bad up top, aren't they? Well, no, Ming is still... Yeah. Uh, I mean, if Ming gets all the rebels, then yeah, sure. But unless that happens, then probably not still. And also, my vassals hate me because uh, they have higher liberty desire because they're stronger than me together. Um, which means that uh, even if I declare another war, which I'm planning to do, they won't help me. They'll just send in their own lands. Okay. You know what? Orissa are a disgrace. <laughs> They're an absolute disgrace of a nation. What do you want me to do? Go up and unsee like unseed your province again, the war god. Well, screw you, I'm not gonna do that. You can go and unseed your own bloody provinces. India's becoming more and more patchworky as it goes on. It's meant to be amalgamating. Like up in the northern provinces, they seem to be breaking up again and again. Hmm. Oh I've got positive you... stability. Yes. Do you do you see do you see a way out at the moment? Me? Yeah. Hell yes. Support the Ad Ad Advaita movement. Lower unrest and more missionary strength. Yep. Listen, as Robert Tepper sung, there is no easy way out. There's no shortcut home either. Or is it song though? I don't think I know this one. It was from Rocky Four, man. It's when he gets in his Lamborghini after Creed's died and he drives off and he barely spends any time watching the road. He's just constantly looking in like his rearview mirrors, um, contemplating on life. It's great. Mm. Check it out afterwards. I'll have to ask you because I didn't remember the title, but we'll do that between episodes, right? Good. I am a man of culture. Mm. <laughs> uh, I've only got in the vagina gar and. Uh... What, what was that <laughs> and my sore as well, my sore ass. Um, my ass isn't sore, by the way. It's fine. Um, good to hear. Good. Yeah, I know. I, I thought that you might be concerned. I've won a siege. I'm at plus one stability. I've only got plus five national unrest. There's no so, rebels in the country at the moment. I'm not what, at war. What, what else do you need to end the peasant war? I need to, to siege out this last province. It's at minus twenty-one at the moment. We're almost there, people. We're almost there. You know what? There's no rhyme or reason to this war that I'm in. Kind of. Just everyone's just sieging random stuff. The only people who seem to know what they're doing are Bengal. They're actually sieging what they should be sieging. Uh, but I just don't have the manpower to be able to go up there and do anything about that siege. And Orissa don't seem to care. They're just sitting there. Well, they they seem to think it's more important to siege out Bamanis than uh, than to uh, than to protect the war goal. Mm. Oh, you actually do have two cores on Orisa. That's interesting. Yeah, I know. I did know that. Yes, I, I'm just I didn't know. Ah, okay. Right, dive yet? Onion. I might yeah. actually take this. I'm oh, sorry, go on. I say Ming won't ally with me. Neither will Brunei. <sighs> Ah, uh, it's fun the timbers, they might be nice. <laughs> so, there's actually a 
Yeah, you you will you will pull out from that uh, bad situation, right? I think I'm going to be able to go back to being neutral, uh, but with two extra provinces from before. So yeah, currently looks like it might be okay as long as no one declares war on me. If anyone declares war on me, I am screwed. How much did you grow? Did you take two provinces or more? Two provinces, um, and with no maintenance on anything, I've got plus point one gold per month. So I might get rid of all of my troops as well, just to try and make some money. Which is obviously not good, but hey. It'll be fine. Whatever you gotta do. Exactly. I might try and get Bengal to be my friend, but... Is he your enemy? Who, Berg? Bengal? Yeah. Do you not care about Bengal yet? I mean, I'm, I'm in a war against him, but I don't think we actually... I mean, we haven't got great opinions of each other, but we're not, we're not enemies or anything like that, so... Okay. Ooh, so. restore order. End of the Peasants' War. Gain 10 legitimacy, 20 prestige. Yes. And two other negatives Wonderful. have gone. Yeah, Yay. well done. Got rid of the Peasants' War. Hooray for <laughs> peace. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was touch and go. Another disaster's looming. Civil War. <laughs> 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 oh my god. For Civil War, you need to have uh, not have positive unrest, right? Um... It says it can be stopped by having uh, legitimacy of at least 75 or have Regency Council. Because oh. overextension is at least 10%, but I can reduce that down now. Yes! What's your legitimacy? Uh, uh, my legitimacy is 30, and my prestige mm. is minus 74. Excellent, I just gained 10 prestige. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Because it's the opposite of me. I want some of your prestige. Give me some. Send some my I've way. I've got loads. Marry that me. Was like that, that, <laughs> yeah, that, I, I could, though, couldn't I? I could get... We could, no, we can't, because we said we can't out. Well, no, royal marriage isn't an alliance, though, is it? That's true. Well, you don't get prestige for royal marriage. So do you? So. I want prestige. Um, I will, because he's, he's in such an amazing country compared to me. Everyone will be like, wow, you're marrying up. Wow, he would marry you? Yeah, and then everyone will love me, and I will stop being hated on. Hmm. See, that's your problem. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Be confident, man. Yeah? <laughs> oh, dearie me. This is really annoying me. Arissa, uh, now that the province has actually fallen, now they're like, oh, crap, you know what? Maybe we should go up there and uh, do something about that. Hmm. Oh, unrest, point zero two as well. I mean, just, everything's just fantastic right now. At least I do have people who are attaching to me, finally. Uh, with that, that's the end of this one, by the way. Is it? Okay. It's time's uh, up. I was about to declare war. Oh no. Uh, save it next episode. All right. Okay, uh, pausing. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like, subscribe, and check all the other perspectives. And we'll see you next time with more. Bye bye. Adios. See ya.